And that's how you fucking bang girls. That's how you bang lots of girls. Okay? And it doesn't matter. People are like, oh, I don't want to bang lots of girls. I just want one. Okay, well, that's how you get your dream girl, too. That's how you get your, your girlfriend. <laughs> your, whatever your goal is, that, this is how you do it. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, I want to talk about the soft clothes. Okay, and no, that does not refer to having sex with a flaccid penis. Okay, so <clears throat> before we continue, please like and subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell so you will get alerted of my new videos every Sunday through Thursday. So, this is kind of a big, important topic. Um, I've had some students message me and show me uh, screenshot examples recently and they're just totally missing this and I think most guys are missing this and I used to miss this my, myself basically like say you have like a, an online game exchange okay you match a girl on tinder or bumble you're messaging back and forth and it gets to the point gets to the point where you want to ask her um, Basically, you want to set up the plans, right? You want to get her number and set up the plans. But you don't want to just be like, in the middle of talking, hey, send me your number. Or, hey, let's get um, a coffee at 7 p.m. The hard close is when you go for specific plans or when you go for the number, okay? The soft close is when you kind of tee it up, all right? So I'm not going to go over the exact messages that I use in Tinder, but I have a, a system, okay, it's in my Leads Machine product, it's at www.sexleadmachine.com. I give the exact text that I use, they work extremely effectively, they're very, very optimized. They're going to turn most matches into phone numbers and dates, but you want to, first of all, do the soft close at the relevant time, of course, by saying, do you want to do such and such sometime? Okay, whatever your date activity is, whatever your, if it, it should be coffee or drinks typically. Okay, you don't want, you typically want to schedule like a movie on the first date, like at a theater or something where you can't talk or like, you know, some fucking guys will go and like watch a sports match and the girls are all distracted or like, you know, just do coffee and drinks near your house. Keep it casual. You don't, I typically do restaurants and dinners on dates two or three. So, where it can become more like intimate and you can get to know them even better, okay? But you want to say, do you like, or not do you like, do you want to get a coffee sometime? But I, 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 don't, I don't phrase it like that though, actually. I say let's, okay? Let's get a coffee sometime. Let's get a drink sometime, okay? And then she says yes, and that tees up compliance for, okay, what's your phone number, okay? And then over text, you do the hard close portion where now you're saying, I, this is my text game. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the spoiler, okay, after I get a, a girl's number off Tinder or Bumble. Hey, it's John from Tinder. When are you free to meet up? Okay, you've already established that you she's cool with getting a coffee sometime, okay? So the soft close, it, it's, it's very, very important to differentiate these things. It, it's basically a compliance jump, step, okay? All of my game and all effective persuasion and, and sales tactics like break things down to a, in small, as small of a compliance step as possible, okay? So rather than be like chat, 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 hey, let's meet for coffee this day at this time. And she's like, whoa, it's haha, you seem cool. We should get a coffee sometime. Let's get a coffee sometime. She's like, yeah, sure. And like, okay, cool. Let's plan over text. It's easier. What's your number? Okay, and then she's like, okay, here's my number. And then over text, you're like, so which day are you free? And you're like, all right, let's plan for this day at this time. And now you've stepped it up. Same thing with escalation. You're not just gonna like go full on. And I'll, I'll make a separate video on baby stepping. I explain it very extensively in my, in my Occam's Razor product. Um, it's extremely crucial to do baby stepping, okay? Rather than be like, hey, let's leave right now. It's, hey, Come meet my friend in the smoking section, or hey, let's go over to this bar over here within the venue, okay? And now she's moved, now she's complied, it's easier to comply the next step, okay? So the soft close is 
it's first of all breaking segmenting the compliance ask okay into and i'll make a video on mysteries hoop theory too i need to make a note about that it's a really important concept the bigger the hoop you know you want to make it as easy for them to jump through as possible all right you don't want, so that's that's what the, that's what's where all this compliance stuff in my model came from is old school mystery stuff which really really works okay and it's the core of um, very successful sales systems as well so you're first of all breaking that ask okay for for the exact plans and for the phone number you're breaking it up into smaller pieces by saying we should do such and such activity sometime the big mistake guys are making is they're just jumping straight to the hard close which is either getting the phone number or setting up the exact plans okay you don't want to you don't want to just jump into setting up the exact plans the other important thing is the soft close will build something called compliance momentum okay so now since she's agreed with <laughs> like a big fat security officer I don't know why so many security officers are so, are so fat you just run away if you're ever committing a crime Okay, so um, there's something called compliance momentum. You, know, you do, you get them to comply with one part, okay, and now it's easy for her to comply with the next part, okay? And that's actually how my whole text sequence is built, okay? She, it's like, like your first text is like putting them onto a slippery slide. That's good text game, okay? So she must continue down the slippery slide, and that brings you to the next text, and that brings you to the next text, and that brings you to the next text, and that brings you to the meetup, okay? So... Guys are, I see so many fucking, you know, uh, in the forums, like guys will post like 16 screenshots of a text exchange with the girl. They're like, what clever thing should I say next? What witty remark can I make next? What, what cool meme can I send now? My texting is like extremely cookie cutter. That's good text game. It's fucking ruthless. It's effective. It's efficient. It, it's minimalist. Okay, just like my whole system. I, I call it Occam's Razor because it's as simple as possible without being any simpler. Okay. Um, water from the shower. Uh, <laughs> but guys are like having these like giant exchanges. There's no reason for that. All right. Um, with my opener, if she replies to my opener, like it's, it's usually a done deal, right? And my opener is designed to get the highest response rate possible. But it's like, you respond to this, okay, well then you should respond, you, you, this leads into this, okay, this leads into this, okay, this leads into the soft close, okay, you want to get a coffee sometime, all right, then let's, I'm, it's natural to get your number, okay, I have your number, now, why would I text a whole bunch over text message, hey, it's John, when are you free, okay, and that's, then she tells you, you that, and that's when you do the logistics and the, and the hard closing in terms of setting up the exact plans, Okay, then you have the plan set, and then you go and fucking bang the girl. You don't, the point is not to, to be in these endless banterings over text message. Like, that's why I made a whole separate product called the Leads Machine on, on texting. Not only because it is, and by the way, the, um, if you're interested in either of those, the links are in the outro at the end or in the description below the video. But not only is texting instrumental and, and, and vastly, overlooked in the seduction community but um it you know it's 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 such a huge important part working leads okay most girls you meet in a nightclub you can't pull so you're gonna be taking their phone numbers same thing with girls you meet during the daytime okay and all your online game uh leads are going to turn into phone numbers so you're left with all these fucking phone numbers what i refer to as leads you need to the goal is to move them to a date okay or straight to your house which is still technically a date and that's how you fucking bang girl that's how you bang lots of girls okay and it doesn't matter people are like oh i don't want to bang lots of girls I just want one okay well that's how you get your dream girl too that's how you get your your girlfriend <laughs> your, whatever your goal is that, this is how you do it it's not by patrolling nightclubs endlessly and, and waiting for that one-off pull that you get now and then pulling is way harder than getting phone numbers and it's not like there's there's some big merit to pulling either. I think the dates are much more solid. You build a real connection with the girl. I'm talking about pulling from nightclub. So, in summary, stop fucking trying to hard close, aka 
get the phone number until you said we should get a coffee sometime. Let's get a coffee sometime? Question mark. Let's get a drink sometime. You seem cool. Let's do this sometime. Okay. Or it can even be generic. You seem cool. Let's meet up sometime soon. Yes. Okay. You agreed to this small ass that we should meet up sometime soon, which is which is a lot easier for her to agree with than saying, hey, let's meet Tuesday at, at 7 for coffee. What do you think? Out of nowhere. Okay. Which is the hard close. You get them to agree to that little piece. Okay, yes, you want to meet some time for coffee? Okay, then it's natural to plan it over text. Let me get your number. Okay, I have your number. Now I'm asking when you're free. Now we set the logistics. Then we meet and we bang. Okay? Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe below. This is... Oh, and I, I'm planning actually um, like a world tour. Not not for training. Like I have coaches around the world that are, that are te teaching my programs. But I, I'm getting a few advanced friends together, like 300 plus count guys. We're just going to fucking go tear shit up around the globe. We're like plotting it out in a spreadsheet during the cold months. So I will be probably bidding adieu to Poland. But um, it's been fun. I banged 150 girls here. There was an article written about me in a, a magazine similar to Playboy. There's a, a Facebook group about me here by a bunch of women. A bunch of girls that I'm actively banging watch my channel. So, I made my mother's Polish heritage proud. Alright, thanks again guys, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.